Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, we're really treated to some very comfortable weather, very uh, low humidity, low uh, below normal temperatures, and that's going to continue into tomorrow. So if you enjoy the weather today, more of the same uh, for tomorrow and still similar for Monday, but a few changes, more clouds to start the week, may even be a touch cooler by Monday as well. We can't roll out a few pop-up showers and thunder showers for the start of the week, but then the changes kick into gear later next week in the form of uh, higher humidity, not necessarily the heat that we've dealt with recently, but we'll definitely be more on the humid side and higher rain chances as well. But in the short term, we will uh, continue to see the taste of fall continuing. As I mentioned, not necessarily overly hot, but we will get back above normal with our heat the next couple of days. But pleasant into early next week, and then humidity, the heat, and the rain chances, all three uh, start to rise. Not necessarily looking at a string of the 90s like we just got out of, but it will, again, be much more humid compared to what we're dealing with uh, right now. And temperature-wise, maybe a touch above average by the time that we get to specifically Wednesday, Thursday, maybe Friday. Really all depends on how much cloud cover and rain shower activity we have. Uh, the less, of course, we could break out to some sun those days and heat us up getting closer to 90. Uh, on the flip side, we may see more clouds and the rain linger during the days uh, next week where we could see those lower temperatures as well. But outside right now, a gorgeous Saturday evening. That's our Maldonado Tower camera looking at the Twin Bridges on a US 41 from the grandstands at Ellis Park out on the top of Deaconess Gateway looking out towards I-69 Lloyd Expressway the east side of Evansville that's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union Tower camera and a great evening uh, to just be outside in general but nearly picture perfect conditions if you're out on the riverfront in Owensboro that's a live view from our Bill Morgan roofing and construction tower camera looking towards the Blue Bridge a calm Ohio River a few thin clouds there as you look across the river into southern Indiana in a quiet evening, beautiful conditions to get outside uh, on the river walks across the Tri-State, Smothers Park, uh, anywhere across the area, very comfortable conditions. Mid to upper 70s as of the latest update. The warm spot right now at 79 degrees down in Union County. That's the current temperature in Morganfield. Down a degree since the top of the hour in Fairfield. You're now at 74 degrees. 76 in Princeton, Jasper at 75, and we'll be uh, continuing this fall through the low 70s until the sun goes down. Then it should be a pretty steady fall through the 60s later on this evening and then eventually most of us I think will be right around 60 but we'll have a lot of locations likely dipping back into the mid to upper 50s for uh, yes on the cool side but definitely again compared to what we had just a few days ago with the high heat high humidity we'll definitely take uh, this weekend weather and the, the timing couldn't have worked out any better either with very comfortable conditions just in time for the weekend but the key difference not just the temperatures it's the humidity dew point well into the low to middle 50s and again as we mentioned through the summer months anytime you can get really below 60 or even at 60 you're doing pretty well and now we've got this extended stretch of days with dew points in the 50s so very comfortable in terms of the humidity levels those dew points though will begin to rise uh, definitely more noticeable on Tuesday if not by Wednesday we'll certainly be back into the humid range uh, for the middle and second part of next week we also won't have to deal with any rain for the weekend so again just nearly picture perfect uh, but we are at the point now, uh, after a week, usually that's uh, an inch or more each week is what we need for our gardens and any outdoor plants uh, to do okay without watering. So we're well uh, into the range where you may need to water some of your outdoor plants uh, with the last week, not seeing any area in the tri-state picking up an inch or more. And that's going to be the case over the next couple of days. Just slim rain chances, a few isolated pop-ups possible on Monday, maybe a few more as we head into Tuesday. So again, really no numerous activity in terms of showers or storms. Maybe at the earliest is Wednesday. Rain chances, though, look to pick up a little bit on Thursday and now into Friday as well. We'll touch on that here in just a second in your seven-day forecast. But the closest area precipitation having a hard time holding together. That's because of an area of high pressure that's up to our northwest. So these clouds are moving our way, but they should begin to dry up for the most part as they approach the tri-state overnight tonight. So high pressure is going to be uh, close enough to at least disrupt just some of that moisture. Definitely not concerned about any precipitation. But as we go deeper into tonight, some passing clouds are possible. Otherwise, mainly clear, calm tonight, and also comfortably cool. Again, we'll be right around 50 degrees or right around 60 uh, degrees with some of you into the upper 50s. Tomorrow, a lot like today, upper 70s, low 80s. So maybe a little bit warmer for the afternoon, but still no humidity. So a beautiful 
beautiful end to the weekend. And even though we'll have more clouds and that chance of a few showers on Monday, still very comfortable air. And with the clouds, possibly a touch cooler, maybe closer to today, forecasting right around 80 degrees for a Monday afternoon. And then we get back into the low to middle 80s on Tuesday, and that's where we'll see at least noticeable humidity. Some guidance does want to up the, uh, the humidity levels for our Tuesday, so definitely more August-like by the middle part of the week. And it's going to feel a lot like summer again, upper 80s, close to 90 with more humidity as well. But a beautiful evening on the way as we continue to fall through the 70s, eventually through the 60s and right around 60 for the low in the Evansville area. But again, some outlying areas, especially with the cooler or clear skies that allow those temperatures to drop a little bit cooler into the middle to upper 50s. And then tomorrow, again, a beautiful end to the weekend, upper 70s to lower 80s across much of the tri-state. And here are the changes by the middle of the week. Again, a touch of that humidity on Tuesday. Definitely more noticeable for Wednesday and beyond with scattered showers and storms. Uh, not an all day rains, but definitely more numerous activity for Thursday and Friday. And maybe ha we'll have to dodge a few of those on Saturday, but it does look like a washout for the start of the weekend. But again, still feeling more like summer with highs remaining in the upper 80s.